Hello guys, Griff here, and I'm going to show you the all-time fastest way to earn thousands in Cyberpunk 2077. You will earn 30,000 eddies or euro dollars in no more than 10 minutes. I've done it, I've timed it, and it works, even after the latest patch. And the method? It's all about selling coke. No, not the drug but the drink. Soft drinks are a lucrative business in Night City. All you have to do is visit the specific locations I'm about to show you, grab all the cans you can see, then haul them back to the nearest vendor, which I'll also show you the location of. I've streamlined the whole process to cut the time right down. As I say, in no more than 10 minutes, you can boost your bank balance by 30,000 euro dollars. Give me those eddies. So let's crack on and start getting filthy rich. And hey, if you want to support a humble cyberpunk money farmer like myself, leave a like on the video. That's very much appreciated. Oh, and also, before I forget, subscribe to my channel if you don't want to. If, uh, oh my god. If you don't want to miss out on my next Cyberpunk 2077 guide. So let's begin the money farming guide. I'll show you the three top places to visit to get the most goods possible. I've searched high and low around Night City, and in my experience, these three are the easiest and quickest places. The first place is right here. Pretty convenient, right in the center of Night City. It's called Arasaka Tower. Not on top of the round bit, but underneath, on the ground floor. Here is where you'll find all of the vending machines. Now, you want to look for the drinks vending machines. They do have some food vending machines, but food ones are a no-go. That's because you can't disassemble food items like burritos and things. And disassembling is how we get our money. Basically, you want to get as many soft drinks as you can, go in to your inventory, disassemble them, and sell the components. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. While I relentlessly tap F on my keyboard, let me tell you about the two perks you need to get before you do any of this. Make sure to grab the mechanic perk, which gives you more components for breaking down items. Then grab the workshop perk and level it up to three. Level three of this perk gives you a 15% chance of getting even more components when you break down items. That is extremely handy. If you need XP to afford these perks, just quickly do a dash around and pick up a load of junk. Disassemble this junk and craft an item called Bounce Back. It's cheap to make. Each time you disassemble and craft things, you get XP. So those perks won't take too long to afford. Also, while we're here, just a bit of advice, don't get the Scrapper perk. It looks inviting, like, oh, it breaks down junk automatically, so I don't even need to get into the menu and do it myself. But no, it'll actually break down expensive items like jewelry. It considers jewelry junk. So instead of being able to sell a necklace for $750, all you're left with is a collection of components that go for just a few euro dollars. The scrapper perk also doesn't break down soda, so it's not even useful in this money farm. Yep don't get scrapper. Once you've got the perks in question, mechanic and workshop, you can start farming coke. This route we're on takes around 10 minutes to fully loot, and it will give you roughly 30k. I say roughly because the contents of vending machines is random. You might get 20 cans out of a machine, or you might get a mere couple. So you can never be 100% sure how much cash you'll come away with, but you can guarantee you'll end up with around 30,000. Okay, so we've looted all of our vending machines. Now it's time to disassemble our soda. Break all that down and it'll automatically separate into common and uncommon components. Each soda gives you six common and three uncommon. Now we just get to our nearest vendor, which is here. Selling a can of soda on its own gets you just 10 eddies, whereas selling the components it gives you gets you 54 eddies. Now you do have to buy the soda in the first place, of course, and that costs 10, so we're making a pure profit of 44. And let's see how much we get. money farm at Arasaka Tower is good, but there's an even quicker money farm located here in North Wellsprings. 
It's very handy. Each of these pillars contains four vending machines apiece. You just have to watch out for this gang here. It's gang of nerdy wells. You can kill them, but I prefer the route of peace. So I just sneak around and leave them to their patch. They can have it, we just want the soda. This is a much denser location than the previous one. So this money farm takes just five minutes. Another thing you want to make sure of is clicking the middle button on the vending machine. This gives you the drink Chromanticore Lime. For some reason, when I click on the left and right buttons and get the soda there, sometimes the game doesn't let me disassemble them. I don't know why, it's weird, but I've never had a problem with Chromanticore Lime. This video is sponsored by Chromanticore Lime. Now we take our bag of sodas and stuff to the vendor, which is just across the road. Look both ways, of course. Okay, and we break it down and then sell it. That little five minute jaunt has just given us even more money per time spent than the last one. If we did it again, that works out to 70k every 10 minutes. But we're not going to do it again. We're going to visit the third and final location on the list. That is here. Just look under the Watson logo. We're going to the Ripper Dock. Just outside this Ripper Dock is a bunch of vending machines. It's a paradise for sugary drink lovers. Make sure to deal with the gang before you start because they're kind of in the way and uh, they're blocking a lot of vending machines. And I'll speed it up now. Loot, loot, loot. Vend, vend, vend. Okay, normal speed now, and we're off to sell. By the way, guys, if you have an issue with the vendor not having enough money, there's a simple solution. Vendors, you see, they only carry a certain amount of money. And if you keep selling all your stuff to them, they'll just run out. They don't have an infinite supply of money. So if that happens to you, all you have to do is go into the menu and wait 24 hours. There's no loading. You just wait 24 hours, get back into the game, and all their money is miraculously refunded and they'll give it all to you. Getting rich is just too easy. This one you've just seen is another location that takes around 10 minutes to do, and it pays out around 20K. Okay, so it's not as good as the previous one in Wellspring, but you know, it's a nice change of scenery. In my opinion though, and in terms of pure speed, the Wellspring one is the best money farming location in Cyberpunk. So if you want the quickest money in the least time, visit Wellspring. We're almost at the end of the video. But wait, what happens when you spent all your money and want some more? Classic money dilemma. Well, there's another simple trick. All you do is save the game, then reload. Suddenly, all of the soda in vending machines has come back. They've gone from sold out to fully restocked in the blink of an eye. A blink that, in game terms, took 24 hours to complete. It was a slow blink. So guys, that was my second money-making guide for Cyberpunk 2077. I did already make a video about a Cyberpunk money-making method, which I'll put a link to at the end of the video, but trust me, the one you've just seen is even faster. If you want to get rich quick and afford all the amazing clothes, weapons, and items in the game, then you'll definitely want to try this. Nothing against those who want to play the game as intended, of course. You can earn a chunk of change just doing missions and gigs and things. But if you've got your eye on a specific item and, you know, fancy a fast and easy way to earn cash quickly, it has to be this soda farming method. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a quick like, I would massively appreciate it. And for more Cyberpunk 2077 guides, subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin. See ya.